Five seconds to go. Start. The relevance of the decoding register clearly emerges from the above statement of PW41. Hence, the effort of the prosecution to produce the decoding register, which is a crucial and vital piece of evidence, ought not to have been obstructed. In terms of the provisions of Section 311, the summoning of the witness for the purpose of producing the decoding register was essential for the just decision of the case. Having dealt with the satisfaction of the requirements of section 311, we deal with the objection of the respondents that the application should not be allowed as it will lead to filling in the lacunae of the prosecution's case. However, even the said reason cannot be an absolute bar to allowing an application under section 311. In the decision in Sheikh versus State of Gujarat, which was more recently reiterated, the court specifically dealt with this objection and observed that the resultant filling of loopholes on account of allowing an application under section 311 is merely a subsidiary factor and the court's determination of the application should only be based on the test of the essentiality of the evidence. It noted that the court is not empowered under the provisions of the code to compel either the prosecution or the defense to examine any particular witness or witnesses on their side. This must be left to the parties. But in weighing the evidence, the court can take note of the fact that the best available evidence has not been given and can draw an adverse inference. The court will often have to depend on intercepted allegations made by the parties or on inconclusive inference from facts elicited in the evidence. In such case, the court has to act under the second part of the section. Sometimes, the examination of witnesses as directed by the court may result in what is thought to be filling of loopholes. That is purely a subsidiary factor and cannot be taken into account. Whether the new evidence is essential or not must of course depend on the facts of each case and has to be determined by the presiding judge. The right of the accused to a fair trial is constitutionally protected under Article 21. However, in Meena Lalita Supra, while reiterating Rajendra Prasad Supra, the court observed that it is the duty of the criminal court to allow the prosecution to correct an error in interest of justice. In Rajendra Prasad Supra, the court had held that lacuna in the prosecution must be understood as the inherent weakness or a latent wedge in the matrix of the prosecution case. The advantage of it should normally go to the accused in the trial of the case, but an oversight in the management of the prosecution cannot be treated as irreparable lacuna. No party in a trial can be foreclosed from correcting errors. If proper evidence was not adduced or a relevant material was not brought on record due to any inadvertence, 
द कोर्ट शुड बी मैग्नेनिमस इन परमिटिंग सच मिस्टेक्स टू बी रेक्टिफाइड आफ्टर ऑल फंक्शन ऑफ द क्रिमिनल कोर्ट इज एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन ऑफ क्रिमिनल जस्टिस एंड नोट टू काउंट एरर्स कमिटेड बाय द पार्टीज और टू फाइंड आउट एंड डिक्लेयर हु अमंग द पार्टीज परफॉर्म्ड बेटर स्टॉप